So it's six o'clock. I'd like to open up the meeting. Um, let's see, I have one small adjustment to the agenda just to talk briefly about um, road salt. Um, that's starting to happen. That's exciting. Yeah, very exciting. And is there any public comment? Um, I came in to make a comment or a request to the select board that at your next meeting, which is I think like the 24th, you put on the agenda. Um, 26th, I think. 26th. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. On your agenda about a uh, warrant to seize dogs not registered in the town of Woodbury. Okay, so done. I wrote my notes here. And any other animal business? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Can done. Do that. that was easy. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Kim. You. Didn't you get the seat warmed up? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, come back. <laughs> okay. Um, oops, oh, there goes Brian's paper. Oh. Yeah. Borrow my glasses. Yeah, hold them down. There. So, um, next thing on the agenda is to approve the bills to the town. Which I think we all did. We all did. So, um, yeah. Have a second. To yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So now we have a series of minutes to approve. Uh, three special meetings and our. July. Uh, what day was that? Twenty second. Um, select board meeting. We could approve them all at once, or we could go through them one at a time. What's I'll make a motion question? just to approve the minutes okay. together. Can all right. the Second. dates for the special meetings, though? Mm -hmm. Can I get the dates for the sure. special meetings? Sure. Um, the special date meetings are July 12th, which was a site visit up on Old Quarry Road. July 31st was um, to meet with the watershed construction um, about the change orders for the school roof. And August 1st was uh, uh, setting the tax rate um, for the town. Those were the special meetings. Make a motion to approve. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll I second, second it. Yeah, okay. All yeah. in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, great. So um, I guess we'll take the time to sign them now. Got a new pen so we can sign away. Got a new pen? All right. Well, that's new to me. <laughs> Found it on our desk somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> you. It's been handed to me by somebody. <laughs> budget cuts, man. Yeah. Budget cuts. Uh, budget cuts again. That's yeah. Okay, so um, town highway. Grab this stuff on the floor here. Um. So I will V Trans Highway Emergency Fund Cabot Road repair. Um, I'll just state. Um, for the camera that um, some people from VTrans came and looked at the lower Cabot Road. Um, we've been waiting for um, the soil department and the ANR agency to come up with a work plan for the uh, washout on the bank along the Cabot Road. They have not come up with it yet, um, so some folks from VTrans came to look at it to put together um, uh, a less uh, detailed work plan so that we can get um, some bids out or RFPs out for bids on that. Try to get that done before winter comes. Um, so and I haven't heard back from them um, what they decided. Um, what day were they out here? This morning. This morning. Okay. This morning. Um, 
So Old Quarry Road, um, basically um, we're going to be dealing with quite a bit of discussion on that in an executive session. Okay. Um, but I wanted to just get a sense, um, you know, we had that agreement that we worked out that kind of fell through because um, the key people to sign it wouldn't sign it. Um, but we're going to need to fix that road. I'm anticipating that we'll need to fix it in order to work on the Cabot Road. We don't know that yet, but so I'm just wondering if... Um, Do you think we need to fix the Class 4 in order to work on the Cabot Road? Well, if, if we have to shut off the... If the road oh. is drivable... Okay, I see what you mean now. Yeah, we if we have, have to, to shut off the Cabot Road, let's yeah, say for a day or two, um, then it would at least have to be drivable by... You know, people who have ordinary, yeah, ordinary cars. cars. Do, you, do you put turnouts in them anywhere so you can meet somebody, or you just because it's basically one lane, right? right. So it's just kind of is what it is then. I mean, yeah, you got to back up. <laughs> you could, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'd hold until we know if we're even going to get it done this okay. year because you wouldn't want to spend money on it and right. have it wash out and have right. There's it probably year. room enough there, Brian, to put some gravel out to make it wider. Yeah. Well, there's one spot on the other, one other issue. Right. Could yeah. have a lot to do with what we could we're have a lot to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just kind of put that on hold for now. Um, that's kind of what yeah, I was... we're not close to being having anything done up there no. at this point. No. no. Um, so, anything new on the village paving at all? Yes, I have a. Okay. Uh, I've sent you a via email. We don't need to go over this all, but mm -hmm. I met with Norm. Okay, great. Uh, he okay. gave me all the stuff I needed to know. Mm -hmm. um, I've got the mixes, I've got the tonnage about. So, so this is your bid? That yeah, you're this would out. be the RFP, yeah. so uh, I don't know if I can find the right page here. Too much liability insurance and all this good stuff. I didn't email you this stuff, so when your computer's fixed, you can uh, just read it till you're sleepy. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to the amount of tonnage. So he said basically we'll bid it um, to the amount of tonnage that you're going to, so you get mm -hmm. a price per ton in place. Yep. And I got stuff in here about the compaction, the temperature when it goes down, and <coughs> how type, how thickness. So we're, he's recommending two and a half inches of base course. Mm -hmm. And then uh, <coughs> an inch and a half of type four top wearing course. Mm -hmm. And it so looked like if I calculated it right, there's like 317 tons. Okay. Um, which, if you look at the kind of price, somewhere in the area of the pricing you were looking at mm -hmm. before with him, mm -hmm. it was that be around twenty three, four thousand okay. dollars somewhere yeah. in that neighborhood. Yeah. That was about twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. And that contemplates that we we remove the old payment. Mm -hmm. um, they would have would be responsible whoever would for the route, site you know fi final grading. Okay. Um, and then all the other pro stuff that goes with it. Okay. So if we remove the old payment, what do we do with it? Good question. Yeah, that was the same question. <laughs> yeah, but place it over the bank that you can put oh, like, it. Is it yeah, considered just hazardous get material? Get rid of it and bury it. Yeah, just bury it. Mm -hmm. But bank, have my so. conversation with Norman. It's it's not enough tonnage for Pike. Right. So I knew that. He 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 thought it wasn't a bad idea. We could go out where realistically we may not get a taker to get it done this season. He said if that's the case. He'd recommend rebidding it about March. Mm -hmm. for early spring work because they said usually they're pretty hungry in the spring mm -hmm. so we get better pricing. Yeah. Who did the great, the uh, paving out in Hardwick? Do you know? Because they just Hutchins. did a few streets out there. Hutchins, yeah. Hutchins? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So The problem, problem is we're just in that part of the year because yeah, right. yeah. initially we're just going to kind of patch it up and now it's we're mm -hmm. trying to replace. So I, I, I guess take a look at it um, and just if we probably should go out to bid in the next mm -hmm. couple of weeks and see, mm -hmm. just see, we either mm -hmm. get it or we don't. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. No, I think it's worth trying. See if we somebody's out catch there. somebody. So yeah. just some questions on the bid doc. Which you're okay with being the person to contact as the select board chair? You want me to? Okay. Uh, um, I'd That's be willing to do it, or, or I'd be willing to. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Then it's yeah. just so you, I didn't. You've got you've got more. That's information just the stuff, and then uh, in your head about it than I do at this point. What kind of date should we look at? If I could get this out in the next couple of weeks. Just pick pick something. Maybe we'd. Uh, I think. Do you have to? Is it? I don't know that. That's the, we have a policy on this, right? Uh, we have a purchasing policy. I don't think it really talks about time, um, and I don't know if there's a. You know, um, I don't know if there's like a thirty day limit. How long it has to be out for? How bed? long it has to be out? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, 
I can. I'm going to be calling Shauna tomorrow. I'll ask her that. Okay, question. I'd like to try to get this out in the next couple weeks because I got to figure out a, a mandatory site visit day. Right. Um, and then the bit, days the bid would be due. And as I said, they may all just laugh at it and throw it in the circular file. That's okay. Yeah, but but it, at least it's done, and if we have to redo it in the, in the spring, spring, we can try yeah. it. It's, it's a mess yeah. out there. Yep. Anyway. Okay. So great. read it over. Let so me know your thoughts. Go. I did yeah. send it to both of you okay. electronically. Okay. So okay. All right. It was a little bit of an adventure just figuring out the the, the what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he thought that if we, you know, I think if we go next year in the spring, if we mm -hmm. contemplated doing some of the Valley Lake Road stuff, he said it, the tonnage might go up high okay. enough to for them to be right. So whether we went to just past the station or I guess the school parking lot has to get resolved before. Probably yeah, got too far to there, but, um, but you know, that who knows I just sort of what we're doing is that approach apron on Valley Lake Road right straight across and down the side of the fire yeah. station. That's yeah. pretty much what that bids. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And whether we could temporarily fix up the, the park, school parking lot to warrant paving that section of road next spring at, right. if, if this doesn't Because if happen. we can establish where that road elevation is going to be mm -hmm. and where all the entries are going to be, then they could probably pave it. Right. And well, that's... Yeah. But we have to but, do that. You know, that whole grant process is stalled out waiting for the state to... Yeah, so I'm not holding my hand. We're yeah. still flooding now, so we got to resolve right. that. We still got to put in a culvert under there, under the school driveway. Is there going to be a culvert under that? There is no. a culvert. There is a culvert there. there. Is a culvert there. Right. It, there'll be, yeah, yeah there'll be a, a series of different things that'll happen um, in the 30% design. But, yeah, but, um, yeah, so we'll... I guess we and see on that one too. Um, yeah. So I mean, if we don't end up with the planning grant, we'd probably we, this doesn't come through this year. We may want to just get somebody in to look at the mm -hmm. uh, Norman thought the road needed to come down, like we've been talking mm -hmm. about, to get yep. the elevation lower so it's not flooding the buildings. Mm -hmm. and then, mm -hmm. But I'm not an engineer, so right. Yeah. He just giving it an eyeball. Mm -hmm. So um, the underground storage tank. Um, last week we had the what's called a cathode ray test on the. Um, outer shell of the double wall storage tank for diesel fuel, the underground storage tank, and it failed the test, um, which means that we, we have to have a plan in place in 30 days about what we're going to do with the tank, and the two options are to repair it or to remove it. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have to have the work done in 30 days, we just have to have figured out what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, so, and I talked today with, um, there's only one company, I don't even, that will repair a tank. Um, Frank and Ian Lynch, father and son team, a 952 area code number. I'm not sure where that is in the uh, um, But anyway, I did get to speak with Ian Lynch a bit today. Um, so to repair the tank, there would be a, basically a two-step process where they would come out, um, They'd go over some records, uh, do some tests, more tests on the tank, and then put together, it's called like an engineering study. That's approximately $1,250. Um, they wouldn't have to dig anything up. Um, I guess they'd do some probing, etc. I'm not quite sure what all is involved. And then the second step would be, after the engineering study is done, is to excavate around the tank, um, to get a better assessment of what's going on, um, we and just, then, you know, we just did that. The tank looked brand new. Uh -huh. yeah. There wasn't a mark on it. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I think the fix is yeah. they weld new cathodes on it, right? Yeah, they, they would weld them. Um, there's a thing where they put, um, set it up so there's a current that actually runs yeah. through that tank. Um, right now there isn't. It's just a, just a... Um, and the current is anti-rust. Exactly, right. And the other thing is to, to do a, like a galvan Medic coat, coating on it or something. So, but anyway, the repair would come to around ten thousand dollars plus or minus. So we're looking at let's say twelve thousand dollars to repair the tank. Um, I called um, the s state folks with so the underground storage tank, um, and they didn't. They couldn't give me an idea of how much it would cost to remove the tank. But there is a an interest-free loan um, that the state would give the town to uh, remove the tank. Mm -hmm. We so can't remove it, though. 
Uh, Lots of temperature. Well, well we can, but you got we, soil testing. and Right, we would hire, hire somebody to remove it probably, or we could remove it ourselves, but I'm sure the state's going to want to be there you know, I mean, taking I soil. Really it all done right I, know, I know. I think the <laughs> issue is the soil testing and stuff to prove right. that there's no contamination. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, don't know, I don't know the removal part yet. I haven't, uh. I haven't gotten that far. Um, so... Um, so well, I don't see any point in repairing it okay. at this point. That does I don't like either. I'm sorry. Of, I, I think we just should get out of the underground tank business okay. and figure out what it's going to cost to remove it mm -hmm. and find out. Check with the people that you had talked to before about an up above ground tank and see if it's still the same deal that they put in for free. On it. I know Skip did some research into that. Um, he may have, I may have some of that um, information. He mm -hmm. gave me a flash drive of his select board stuff uh, when he, when he uh, yeah. got done on the select board. I'll look and see if there's anything in there. Um, I'll talk to some people from the underground storage tank and just to get a better sense of who can do what and um, where it should be placed. And yeah, you're going to have so you gotta place it 10 feet from the building, 10 feet yeah. from the property line because our office will do the permit yeah. for above okay. ground. you got to put up bollards so it can't get run into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then okay. your pump has got to be wired by a master electrician, and it's not very much. Stuff. Not a big deal. Okay. No. All right. So we won't even look into. I mean, we'll not really consider that we're going to repair it. We're going to. Yeah, because I think for it. ten grand, and then the pain in the neck you have to deal with the tank all the time is just. Right. Yeah. The yeah. labor intensity of having it in the ground. You know, just yeah. have to pain test it. That. Yeah, Harry yep. forgot it one day. We got fined by six grand. Well, he forgot more than one day. More than one day. But, but, um, yeah, it's the middle of winter. <coughs> and that's yeah. when it is the pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're up at three in the morning plowing. Mm -hmm. You don't need that. We're yeah. about sticking a tank, too. Mm -hmm. If you could remove it for a limited cost and maybe you have almost a low, low or no cost for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe the same, same yeah. amount of money to. Yeah, yeah so I'm pretty sure for 10 grand you could. Put, put an above ground tank in yeah. there. What size is the tank? A thousand gallons. So I will have that information for our next select board meeting. I'm sure Larry can remove it too. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. So he that's. Can. He can test it. Yeah. Okay. You guys can dig it up and you can yank it out of the ground. And yep. So we'll, we'll pump it into the new one. Figure out what that's <laughs> going to cost and, and see what can work out. Yeah. So, um, highway equipment maintenance records. Um, Laura has been working away on your records that you keep in your journal, um, and she's come up with um, digital highway equipment records for all of the uh, equipment. Um, she gave me a printed out copy, which I passed on to Greg. Um, if so, you it's guys, an electronic format. So it's an electronic format. Um, if you guys want copies, I'm sure she'd be glad to send them to you. Sure. Yep. Um, it was also going through the invoices and listing what was actually purchased for each vehicle. Okay. Yeah. We have like the total of the invoice, but it doesn't say what part mm -hmm. was bought for that car or mm -hmm. that truck. Mm -hmm. So now okay. you have every part that was bought. Great. Great. So it's pretty, pretty elaborate. Pretty record. in depth. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You you've been working on that for almost a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that shoots a big red line up when it's time to trade a truck in because it's getting too much well, money in it. <laughs> it has the totals from like each year or from 2018, and like the S550 was worth the seven thousand dollars when it took last year parts and repairs. Well, yeah. so when you're thinking about selling, that's, them, that's one we're not going to fix again. Probably the 550, or we fixed it enough to get it inspected. Right now. I'll yeah. make it inspectable. Yeah. yeah. So there's you an idea. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to use it, I think, mostly just for salt well, in the winter until it just totally blows out. You know. That was all transmission. Yeah. Oh, that's when you did the training job, yeah. Yeah, right in the middle of winter. Yeah. <laughs> and is that something you just give her the slips and someone here is doing it, or do you have to enter all that stuff in? No, I just... You just leave it in there. You're keeping track of it here, okay. Randy yeah. has, like, the basic account and what invoices okay. go to what truck, but then I go through them in detail. Yeah. And then Greg keeps records and in service records at the yeah, garage. Yeah, at the garage and, and um, keeps a little journal too also that, that helps uh, kind of document what goes on each day. Oil changes and all that stuff are all in there. Yes. Yes. So briefly with the road salt, um, I got an email from um, Appalachie Salt. They received the state um, bid again this year. Um, mm -hmm. And last year, um, 
we didn't go with them. Um, we went with um, uh, American, American Rock Salt. Um, they were basically they were like ten dollars a ton cheaper than the state did. Um, so I called the person. Um, Dubois handles that the American Rock Salt um, contract, and, and they um, two other companies didn't even submit bids for the state highway because uh, I guess they have a like a city there's some kind of stipulation in the state bid that um, some of the other rock salt companies um, they can't they just don't want to deal with it so they've stopped oh. submitting um, mm -hmm. but um, and they, they should be hearing from Dubois should be hearing from American Rock Salt in a couple of weeks about what their <coughs> price will be, and so we'll, we'll just kind of wait. So do we yeah. typically bid our salt separately, or we just usually take what the state does? We, we have taken what the state does. Um, it's Which always been the cheapest. probably a better deal, yeah. yeah. It always has been a better deal, but last year it wasn't. Hmm. And the state had always given the bid to American Rock Salt, and then Dubois would handle it. Um, that was kind of the way it was, at least since I've been on the select board. And, so last year there was a, um, a little warning note from VLCT who used to oversee the towns uh, submitting how much, you know, an estimate for salt and then they would get back to us on what the state bid was. Um, they sent out a little warning that, um, you know, this uh, bid was awarded to this other company but um, American Rock Salt through Dubois was still offering salt to towns. So um, when we got the bids for American Rock Salt, um, uh, and the fact it was ten dollars a ton cheaper, yeah. we, we went with yep. the cheaper price. Gotcha. And plus it was a known, you know, delivery kind of. Um, so we'll wait and see. Right now, <coughs> from Appalachia, it'll be ninety dollars a ton. Last year, from them, it was eighty-nine dollars a ton. So we'll see what. Uh, How many tons do we normally buy? How many tons? We plan on. We usually use 140, mm -hmm. but yeah. we put a bid in for 170, I think, last year. Yeah, yeah. 175 has been. It doesn't matter if we don't use it. Right. It's right. there if we need it. Yeah, yeah. In case, in case we use it a lot. So the yeah. years when they run out. Right. Those I years. think last yeah. year was 140. <coughs> yeah. Some yeah. years, you know, it's 120, yeah. or just over 100. But yeah. last year it was 140. I have a record of each year in my, and I didn't bring down the road salt um, file that I have, um, but it's usually 120, 140, it depends on the winter of course. So, um, so at some point we'll have a price, um, and this is, you know, something that we just kind of go with the lowest price, we don't put it out to because, <coughs> um, you know, there's only really two, two yep. sources for it. So. Give us your best shot and you win. Right, yep, exactly. And so, Du Bois is really good. I mean, you call them, boom, they're there. Yeah, yeah. They're very dependable. Hard so. to beat the service there. Yeah, so. Um, do you want to kind of go over what the road crew's been doing the last few weeks, and then we'll dive into the truck replacement? and we just, We've been two weeks on the road. Road, yeah. Road, okay. Looking good. All right. <coughs> yeah, your road's all done. We just got to start doing the rest of the other stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was up around the back around side. Nice. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been ditched that deep in quite a while. No, it's I've been there 28 years. Mm -hmm. First time we got it from that spring around the corner. Yeah. We gotta do that, and then we gotta do out through to 14. <coughs> then we'll be pretty much <coughs> done with that whole area. Mm -hmm. Okay. That little S stretch in the back side of the county over those culverts are very, is that on on the list? I tried to dig it. I can't dig it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no culvert there, huh. other than that humped up one. You know where the hole was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, there's just not a lot we can do. The ledge just is there. <laughs> I mean, I dug the fishing access a little bit. Oh, no, no I'm talking, uh, well, when you go away from the fire hydrant toward uh, West County Road, the S turn there gets down in the dip, and then there's the S. I think there's a couple of buried culverts down in there. Right where the guardrail is around the lake there, that sharp turn where the little right up against the ledge there. Hmm. There's one one culvert all the way down, and that's what we're doing now. Yeah, we're not coming. You part. come from the spring. Yeah, I'm on the county. All the way around. The oh, I see. Oh, you're talking about so that, that ditch goes all the way around to the culvert. 
right in okay. there. Yes. Because you dug the big you dug the big culvert there by the camp by the trailers. Right. And then there's right. that culvert somewhere in there. There's remember the hole in the road. Right. The you're talking right around the ledges and the yeah. guardrails. Yeah. Where it goes like this. Yeah. The hole in the road was here. Yeah. And then there was this From area of the water. This spring where we started. Yeah. We went this way. Yeah. This has to be ditched all oh, the so you're way. Oh, that's what I was asking. To a yeah. culvert right there. Perfect. Okay. That's what, that, we're on <laughs> the same no, page. I was no just other asking. culvert there, but right. That, we got to do that section. Okay. I, I don't know about up in here, Paul. Okay. And that I was just culvert, asking. Yeah. I don't know what kind of mess we're going to get in there. Oh, playing in the lake. There. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The culvert. The culvert. There's no. I may place dig it and just see what the hole is. What's there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah and maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put a piece in or whatever's there, and they do that. Mm -hmm. As far as digging in the lake, I think that's a can of worms. Right there, we need to get permission and somebody come. Oh, really? Yeah. When you go across the road all the way into the lake, as long as not in the, the lake. lake, not in the lake, up to the edge of the lake. You can go to the lake. <laughs> above the lake, you're okay. If you're in the lake, yeah. I've had to get that permit before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were on the same so page. I, was, I, I might, yeah. I might dig that just to see what's there. Just to see it's there. It's fairly deep. It's a couple of feet down where that yeah. hole was. But I'm sure it's just the collar. I mean, Gary used a little collar like this. You know, so right. maybe we, we can just yeah. dig it, put a bigger put collar, the collar in. back in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. That the, the railroad looks good. Yeah, we got to hydro seed it tomorrow. That'll be all done. Pretty much that part of it. I see you working your way up Greenwood now. Yeah. Well, we did this afternoon. We had this. So you guys pretty good for where you're at for this time of the year? No. You still got a lot of stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're so far behind. They're just not going to get it. It's not going to happen this year. We're already in the middle of August. Yeah. Grizz out grading. Oh yeah. When you can. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You want to nice know when? Or? <laughs> no. He knows. He's been out all week here. I was telling these guys, I was going around towards the Nelson Pond one day, this guy locked out of his car, and I came up to the three-way intersection up there past Lynn's. Yeah, by Tibbetts. And yeah. Car I come onto the town grader. He's Greg Grizz out there sitting there. So I pull out, go around him, he's sitting there. It's a nice sunny day. He's sitting there in his seat, looking out over the lake. <laughs> he's got his full service right there. He's got his service there, yeah. He was in shit. Brian. Caught red handed. I can't believe it, which stuff you guys are in there. They were digging and digging, and trucks are going and going. Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of stuff down in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stuff. All that rock slides off the slides off that mountain all the time. Another tree came off the bank too and took the phone power and phone lines just mm -hmm. before we went to that mountain rescue call. So we had to go around the other way because we couldn't get to what's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw it came out and there's hired a collector. Went, well, I guess we'll go the other way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of these big storms, all those poplar trees on that bank are going to come mm -hmm. down. So in the ash. <laughs> and yeah. The, yeah, the yeah ash. when they die slowly. So um I thought maybe I just wanted to mention before we get into the truck replacement, um, that um I connected with um the fellow from uh, Little Roadside Management, um, who is the dealer basically for the um flail, mower, uh wood chip chopper, um brush cutter um, and he did some more research on his computer and he actually came up with um, the fact that the town of Brandon has one of those pieces of equipment and I, I got to talk with the road foreman this morning he's pretty new to the job he's only been there a couple of months but um, you know he um, he said personally that he prefers a rotary um, mower um, brush cutter, um, which you can get for this uh, piece of equipment, um, um, and the, that, uh, but they do have a flail chopper, we could go and look at it, Greg could go over and talk to the crew. This is the one that mounts on the front of the loader? Yeah, the cat loader, yeah. 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 Um, said it is pretty straggly cut and brush, um, and it's fairly slow, um, I don't know quite what he meant by that, but how fast 
Trubisky would want to buy. That's one of those things. If he had the choice, would he buy it again? Right. Yeah. Well, he, he did. He'll let you take it for a test spin <laughs> on his back road. He did say that he, you know, from he was a road foreman in, in Pittsburgh previously, so yeah. he's new here. He's new to that piece of equipment, and they had a rotary mower there, not that hooked onto right. the front. Well, it of sounds the like you're also wanting to do this to cut brush, right? Not just cut grass, right? right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he said that the thing that he really likes about it, he doesn't actually hasn't operated either, because you know, he part couple of other crew members are the ones that run the thing, but mm -hmm. the fact that it's in front of you and you can kind of see what you're doing rather than to have a look behind, um, that he does like that part of it. And I talked to another person out in Canada on the west coast who um, has about 20 or 30 of these things in operation. Um, and again, they use a rotary blade, but he said as far as the uh, equipment is concerned, you know, um, the rest of it and, and the heads, um, that he had nothing bad to say about it. The things were pretty much maintenance free. Um, um, you know, a couple times uh, his crew has hit something with it. So the boom arm, you know, they've had to repair the boom arm, but they were able to do that themselves. Um, they've been using the thing since 1999. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, the same brand that we're looking at? Or yeah, same yeah. brand um, and on the front of a, cat, a bucket loader. He did suggest that I call um, Milton. That they, that they, he knows that he has shipped some other of these mowers to them. So I haven't done that yet. I tried um, to get a hold of them. They never got back to me. Yeah, um, a couple of times. And then he gave me another name for um, a road foreman down in uh, Pennsylvania. I haven't had. A, I've left a couple messages, but um, I haven't heard back. So. We're, Still kind of researching that, but there, it is nice to know that there is one here in Vermont that we can actually go, go and look at. Um, so you know, and we may want to discuss more whether it's a rotary or a flail chopper. The video has the flail chopper. Well, on. it's all the what people see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The rotary is just going to shred it. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. part of the the flail mower would be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that on that piece of equipment. Um, so I'm uh, moving on to. Oh, and I had a little more information on the retriever thing. Okay. The, the berm thing. The bermer. You had asked about the discs. They're special discs that you get from them. They're seventy bucks because they're a hardened steel. Okay. Because they usually ask them, they just ship them. Okay. Okay. But replaceable discs. Because I called the guy last week <coughs> that hadn't answered the question. Yes. Yeah. He actually called me because he wanted to know if we're going to buy one or not mm -hmm. this year. Yeah. It would make sense that they'd be a little tougher. Yeah, he said they make them special for them so that yeah. they're tough. He says most of the people have had them for years and haven't broke one. Yeah. They do yeah. wear, depending on how much gravel you're in. But. Yeah. You know, I, I think as far as, I'd like to learn a little bit more about the, uh, the mower, uh, brush cutter, um, but as far as the, what I call the burmer, you know, I think we're, I'm pretty well sold on I'm getting that. Yeah, that was going to be my question. It seems like we had the money and the maintenance fund to do it. The question is, is there going to be time for someone to use it if we bought it this year to work on berms? No, well, not, not this, so year. Much this year. I, I know Alan. We're looking at buying it next. We, we would use it for next next year. Okay. And I know Alan May. It's a spring thing before the grass grows, full, basically. Yeah, while the ground is still pretty yeah. soft and wet. Yeah. So um, the hope is that this would help you get rid of all those berms in the shortest amount of time possible. Right. Yep. So. Okay. So and I, I kind of told them that I said it probably wouldn't be till mm -hmm. next right. year, but if and, we could. <coughs> yeah. And the other thing that we need to, you know, maybe it would be sometime this winter. That yeah. We would, you know, yep. So we'd have it on hand, have it ready to go. Um, the other thing we need to do is sit down with the union bank um, and Brandy and just figure out if it's. Because we had some it. money in that fund, right, Nin 19 or something. We do, but I was thinking more that what we could use, if we could finance both of these pieces of equipment gotcha. um, th through the amount, basically $4,500 a year that we pay on the mower, yep. the mower rental, um, we wouldn't have to, we could save that money for something else. Got it, okay. And uh, we wouldn't, it wouldn't be an addition to the budget because uh, we're already spending the money. Um, Good enough, yeah. okay. This one's here, so, everybody else was. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't think, I, I think that would be workable. I would hope yeah. the Union Bank would So be. by next year you could have the cutting head and the, yep. and this I'm, thing. I'm hoping. So on your, your thing on the cut, you'd prefer the chopping. I think the flail mower would work better. Okay, to yeah. Cut, to chop this brush up right. and cut that yep. stuff back. Because I mean, you're the one using it. I mean, 
the brush hog works fine, but you know what it does? It shreds. Right. You want something to lock that stuff. That's right where off. the people rain. Yeah, that's that's the main complaint. Where this is this is gonna cut it up and not really chip it, but it's gonna be a lot smaller pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have whole limbs. Yeah. Right. Where you just yeah shred it up and left. Yeah. So I, I have contact information for the road form, and I'll, I'll get to you. Maybe I'll let you take it for a test drive and do something on their road and try it yeah, out. Yeah. Free labor, they yeah. call that. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you could talk to the road crew that actually uses the thing. Right, that stuff. would be the ones I'd want to talk to. Yeah, yeah. does it actually? This guy's no one. Yeah, they, he said he'd only been there a couple of months. Mm -hmm. So, so um, okay. So last. Was it last Monday? It was a week ago today. We met. It was Sandy. Yeah, it was yeah. Sandy, the fellow Rip from um, Charlotte Boys, and with Mike um, from Viking, the people that do the body. <coughs> we um, talked about uh, prices um, for replacing the, the 2013 10 wheeler. Um, and in my notebook, I wrote this down. Um, so basically, we're looking at about $190,000 to um, for a new truck, and uh, Sandy got back to us. Uh, they're willing to give Shallow Voice is willing to give us $60,000 60, yeah. for a trade-in. So we're we're down to about you know 130, let's say 135,000. dollars Yeah, because I was looking at I just ran the number because like 130, 135,000. Yeah. So um, and we were told at the meeting, um, and correct me if I if I get any of this wrong, um, that, you know, it would behoove us to make a decision fairly soon and get on the list because they're looking about a year out, so, you I, know. I get the quote from Mike, from, uh, Mike Murray, too. Okay. Did you know that? I didn't know 71, that. 71,000. For the plows and okay, I had the equipment. I had 70, 70 to 72, so. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, yeah, 131. Yeah. The actual quote, quotes at the yep. garage yep. 71. Yeah, so the quote we were quoted for the cabin chassis was 121,000 and um, for the body would be 71,000. So 192,000. I mean, 192, minus the 60. Minus the 60, so 132. 132. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and then as far as financing, I don't know what the yearly would be, but you know, we'll have to figure that part out. Um, um, but I think it would be good for us to make a decision soon and just um, what we would try to do um, is uh, make a decision, get on their list um, so that we were guaranteed a, a vehicle and a body, um, and then kind of go with the deferred payment that we did for the low pro so that we wouldn't actually make our first payment on this until fiscal year 21 in October. Yeah, because my understanding from Sandy, if you ordered now, we'd schedule mm -hmm. delivery for June or July next mm -hmm. year when yep. we get in line at the is it Viking? Yeah. Right. Viking people. And uh, we wouldn't even have to pull the trigger on the financing till that time, truck's coming, coming till the truck's through. actually delivered. Yep. And I don't know if you defer from there a year or not. He, he did mention a prepayment in yeah. June, July when the truck arrived. Right, back when the, you pay for the chassis, yeah. basically. The, yeah. Yeah. And, and that would save us, um, like, what did he say, three to five thousand dollars? Right, you're not paying interest on it while yeah. it's there being fit yeah. up. So if we, if we wait until we actually get the truck, they've bought the truck but, yeah. and they're charging us interest. Um, mm -hmm. um, so, um, so we need to talk to the Union Bank, I think, and, and see if they're okay with this. Um, and then, you know, in the next few select board meetings, um, you know, maybe make, try to make a decision on this. And yeah. Okay. And the only question I've got is the interest rate. And have you asked merchants in our country just to see who's got the best interest rate? We could check that out. Um, doesn't hurt to call we're under municipal lending, I think, for the union. I'm not sure they're the only ones that handle it, but it's a good question. Yeah. yeah. But we, you know, we, find the, we financed the low pro through the union bank, um, mm -hmm. and they were actually less um, than Daimler the, the, that we had financed. Yeah. The, these, the two 10-wheelers um, from previously. Yeah. So, But yeah, it wouldn't hurt to check um, 
Yeah, we got three, three, three lenders around, just yep. out of curiosity. Yep. Yeah. Competition's good. Yeah, competition <laughs> is good. Yeah. But that would get us in cycle. You'd have a new truck before next winter. Yep. So mm -hmm. we'll use the 2013 for one more winter. And that's the oldest truck, right? The right. other one's a 14. Yeah. Although they both were like pr pretty much in action at the same time, right? Yeah. Uh, no. no. One was a year later. One was a year later. What? The okay. 2013 is actually, I think, a 2012, and it was bought in 2013. Yeah. Okay. Because it was built as a demo. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the town bought it all complete. Okay. Uh, they didn't Almost have, like they, they brought it down here built. one night and showed it to us. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it stayed here. And it stayed here, yeah. yeah. Okay. It would be nice to get them separated a little bit. Well, that's more. what we got. That's what yeah. I wanted to do. Yeah. Is all yeah. bill. Yeah. Because based on how we set money aside and make the payment, mm -hmm. we you know, we can get the payment short on this one and maybe push that other one out a year right. or two from there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how realistic that is. Because one of the problems you're going into is the value tends to drop over yeah. time, and mm -hmm. so you got to kind of. I think here we're in kind of a good spot there. That mm -hmm. the, I was surprised when yeah. Sandy came back. Yeah. Sixty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A, because yeah. the That's one surprise, one line of thought is, oh, you got rid of it, there's still a lot of use in it. But yeah. the second, you're actually getting good value for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a good trade in. Yeah. So I, I played with the numbers <clears throat> a little bit. Um, and I meant to, actually, I could Xerox this really quickly um, so you guys can look at it while I'm talking about it. Why don't I do that? We'll just take a right. moment. Okay. We were to budget, you know, we were planning to hopefully budget some money for that hurt. You'd have that money next July 1st to yeah. pay toward it, so your payment might be just a couple of years, three years, something. I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, get them separated a little bit would be nicer rather than fewer maybe. payments. You're paying a lot less interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No problems on the trucks right now. Mm -hmm. All good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. Get your sand all up yet? No. Still <laughs> We're still with all of sand. Yeah. yeah. Got a lot to go, or? Yeah. 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 We're half done, probably. Half done. Mm -hmm. I'm just guessing. Uh, yeah. Every once in a while, I'll meet the boys on the these, road. Right. Rainy days. <laughs> Rainy days, yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Okay, so this is just, you know, a morning cup of tea and on the back of an envelope, and then I looked at it again this afternoon a little bit. Um, so, um, we, in our, in our highway budget, we're putting in, um, designating $90,000 a year, you know, was designated to the HERF fund, but now we're going to have a um, highway equipment um, fund, uh, capital fund, we'll call it, in the budget. Um, and then we, we take in, uh, through the Swenson Quarry uh, reimbursement, um, the 35% that we de designate for highway equipment, that brings us in about $12,000. So each year we're putting away, um, or we have $102,000 um, designated for um, the town highway equipment. And that's pretty much the the big ticket items, you know, stuff like the Burma or whatever, we usually try to finance that somewhere else. So after this year, you know, we made the last payments on both the 2013 and the 2014 truck. Um, we made our first payment on the Low Pro, and we're still paying for the bucket loader. Um, so that total of the $102,000 came to $94,100 roughly. So we had about $8,000 left as a balance and we we still have sixteen thousand dollars in the HERF fund so combining those two comes to about twenty four thousand dollars that we um, that we now have in the in designated for highway equipment um, so next year uh, we'll be making a payment for the new um, ten wheeler I don't know what it is I wrote thirty six six thousand dollars just as a you guess. financials for how many years? Uh, five years five usually. Years. Okay. Yeah. Although maybe maybe it's more. I'm not really sure because I wasn't here at the beginning of that. Thing. Probably. Well, let's say let's say. Okay. They were seven years or two. That. Okay. All right. So seven years. Um, they were off. And with a you know with a trade in we that 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 number is lower. Be, so we should, should probably be, be able to. Yeah. Lower. Yeah. But let's just use that figure yeah. for now because we don't know what it is. And so we won't be making a payment on the other 10 wheeler. 
We'll be making a payment on the low pro and on the bucket loader. So using that figure of $36,000, we should have 65, let's say $66,000 as a um, for a total and then we would have a balance of about thirty six thirty six thousand dollars which we could add to the the other so we would have basically sixty thousand dollars in the herf next year next year next fiscal year fiscal year 29 next July yeah yep yeah. and then it'll be pretty much the same scenario for the following fiscal year fiscal year 22 where again we would, would be able to put away about thirty six thousand dollars so and that would bring us up to about ninety six thousand um, dollars at which point we you know so then we're starting to think about well, when are we going to replace the 2014 10 wheeler this is assuming that we'll get one more winter out of the 2013 and um, two more winters probably out of the two, 2014 or maybe even three um, so I haven't got any further than that, but um, the money does start adding up a little bit. And of course, we've got the greater. Yeah. See, the happier place we can be is getting shortest term possible. So, like, if we're going right. to put this money on it, even if we only mm -hmm. had a sixty thousand dollar loan, pay it off in two yep. years or something. Yeah. Because then we can start building the money in that mm -hmm. account. Like yep. that ninety six could be just going in the account. Yeah. For yep. when we need to do. Yeah. Something, something like else. Yeah. The greater. And you know, I've been thinking about you know, Brandy's been kind of advocating to. Um, Eliminate the herf fund, um, but you know I, I'm I kind of like having I like the herf, the herf fund, fund, and I know you've said that also. Um, that my, way, that money set aside for because we know these purchases are coming. Yeah, we should really have a place to put money so it's they wouldn't specific. That's yeah, what they're there for. And it can't be. that way you're not figuring out what you know. Oh well, the truck's got to be replaced. We don't have any money. We're going to have some money to put into yeah. the truck. Mm -hmm. So one thought I had, and of course Brandy's away now, so we can't really run this by her, but one thought I had is to that initially we would budget the money in the town highway budget, the $90,000 and the $12,000 from Swenson. It would go into this, what we're you know calling at this moment, town highway capital fund budget. So it would be in the, in the highway budget, and then at the end of the year, whatever money is left over in that budget, I line item for in the budget that would go into the HERF fund. I don't know if you can do that. Um, uh, that was just my thought. Do we need to I'm have still it? more of a? I think because if if you look at if you if you look at your total replacement cost over the lifespan of all mm -hmm. the equipment, say mm -hmm. that's eight years mm -hmm. with the trucks. You got three of them that are on that seven or eight year. You really need to pay for that truck in that time frame so you just set that money aside every right. year and I think we ought to pop that money it's, it's in a short a time frame as we can get to get away from loans mm -hmm. and to put because what we discovered with our expensive vehicles mm -hmm. was we were paying for a truck every two purchases with interest yeah and that's where you're getting killed mm -hmm. right and it's it's a bit of a stretch to get there but you have a good plan I right. think this is a good idea, mm -hmm. yeah. and so the I, only it's adjustment there, I yeah. would think we should just say that money's dedicated and goes into this fund, and we budget it, it goes in. I know Brandy's issue is when we're making these uh, loan payments. I'm not, not going to call them lease payments; they're basically loan payments. payments. Yeah. Um, that um, for her accounting, it's hard to take it out of the her fund. Unless, yeah, because it's unless, got a specific purpose. Yeah. So. She would prefer that it be in the highway budget, and then there's no issue about getting uh, approval at every select board, or every town meeting, et cetera. Um, so the way I understand the HERF, as long as we buy equipment with it, mm -hmm. we can spend it at our discretion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's if we want to spend it for something else. I don't think that's really an issue. Okay, in my opinion. Okay, yeah, in my newness yeah. to this position, but it, as long as we're buying trucks with it, yeah. Yeah, we don't have to go back to the voters. No, because that was the specific purpose. Right. And that's the whole right. purpose of setting that up. Yeah, it's kind of, it kind of means you can't raid this fund, you know. They said they right. trust us to <laughs> spend the right. money on the trucks, right. and that's why we have permission right. to spend it. Yeah. So and it, yeah, it I don't know why we have to change it. it either, then. If we, okay. if we I, have the right to spend it, I think we put money in that fund. Mm -hmm. Because if we not, we're just uh, you're just shooting yourself in the foot later on. If you take, let's say we're supposed to put ninety, and we have to steal twenty of it. That twenty, right. you're just pushing down the road. You're going to have to go borrow that money. Right. 
And, and I think the other thing is that we need to be adamant about every year that we don't monkey around with the ninety thousand dollars because that's what it happened. goes in, right? And that's yeah, that's what kind of where we are with our capital fund and our don't end. use it to lower the tax, tax rate. No, <laughs> no, you because every time you do that, you're going to go pay interest at the other you're end. You don't feel it. In the front, you don't yeah. feel it right now. What you do yeah. is you feel it three years from now when you got to pay interest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I'm sure we'll have this discussion yeah. with Brandy too. With Brandy. <laughs> and I will. I'll, you I'm know, pretty I'm stuck in this position because I just we just went through this whole exercise. Yeah, with I will. Stuff. I will do a little bit more research um, about reserve funds and yeah. how because um, yeah. I don't understand them totally. Um, well, my understanding of it, it was created by the town for because we're really not allowed to carry funds over budget year to budget year. So right. you're allowed. It's a specific fund mm -hmm. that has a specific purpose, which they created mm -hmm. at the voter level. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah, they we, did we can put Some money in it. A number of years ago, we started this highway yeah. mm -hmm. fund for that reason. Because yeah. I was looking at, at Hardwick's, and they pay cash for all their vehicles every mm -hmm. They do, yeah. I, I they, so they're putting too. enough money in there every time so that when it's time to buy a new dump, you just order it. Yeah. You know what they're there. putting in every year out there? Hundred and some. I'm not squat. sure. I have their. I have the town report from last year. Yeah, I talked to him once too. He they showed it to me. It's, yeah. it's it's a, the it's number's a bigger than you would imagine, but it's a yeah. real number. You know, yeah. it's the, you have this much equipment to replace. And yeah. what they did to set that up, um, I talked with the. I think it was the business manager um, there. Um, <coughs> is it that for one year they had a special allocation to get enough money in the budget so they could set it up so they could start purchasing the vehicles Immediately, out, right? right. Yeah. And then they only had to do it once. Um, and I don't know if we could ever do that, but... So that, that's a big chunk, yeah. Well, well that's kind of what you, you, to really get it started, you've got to, like, yeah. the you've got to, like, like you saw we did at the fire, we keep yeah. paying the loan we have, and now we take this big chunk and drop mm -hmm. it on. That's what you're going to have yeah. to do yeah. eventually. We, it seems like you have a kind of a soft start to get into it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we could. I mean, the money will start adding up pretty. Yeah. You know, in the twelve thousand dollars from Swenson, that'll go up a little bit. We could allocate more, and we've been talking about changing the proportions, yeah. um, which we'll mm -hmm. we'll be discussing over the next. Yeah, that's a good years. idea too. Because yeah. what you're looking at in the next couple of purchases, you're less borrowing each time, mm -hmm. but yeah. more cash, and then hopefully yeah. you're going to get to that we'll no get to borrowing that magic, point. Maybe it'll be five years or eight years yeah. from now. But yeah. 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 so at some point in the somewhat near future, a few years out, we'll have to kind of figure out, well, how can we get the grader in there too? Um, right, that's, that's, that's the other. be done. That's the other thing that, that's kind of looming. Um, I'll work on that. I've got his spreadsheet too, because we want to okay. do is add that vehicle into these numbers, and you mm -hmm. may find it, mm -hmm. that may be a town meeting thing where you one year you come in and say, we right. need to add this to a, a 130, say, instead mm -hmm. of 90, and, mm -hmm. yeah. and bear, get the pill swallowed, and then, yeah move on for from there, years, then yeah. you have the money. Some year when there isn't other expenditures and other <laughs> When you just haven't had just a bad winter. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. 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 <laughs> good. So so we kind of got the beginnings of this, I think. And yeah, it yeah. looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see where we go from there. Hang on to your hat. Um, I think that's, I'll find my agenda. Just, there it is. That's pretty much it for the town highway agenda items. Um, can you think of anything else? Anything else, Greg, from you? That Not really. All right. We've had some of the normal stuff, trees and this and that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just been concentrating on Greenwood Lake Road. Mm -hmm. I did. And that should be done this week, hopefully. Yeah. And start changing some other culverts and stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. So I guess we can move on to, to other parts yep. of the agenda, and you're free to go Thank home you. if you. Anybody want to see any pictures? Or anything? You know, I've seen it all. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you've seen it. No, I haven't. You haven't. Oh. oh. I was wondering, could I borrow this sometime to go do some, take some class four pictures? I'd love to be able to bring pictures of different class. Remember, I've talked about like a little field trip to show you yeah. guys some yeah. of the class four roads. Mm -hmm. I was thinking I could use this and we could just spend a little time at a meeting. I could show you what yep. some of our. Okay. Uh, let's go back. This is kind of what we started with. He had a lot of dirt. That's down on Paul's Road? Yeah, a lot yeah. of dirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the way down to Mark Sassy's. Yeah. 
You haven't been down that way. I've been around this is, Greenwood Lake. But this is right at, whoop, right at Mark's here. You yeah, found that culvert, but I don't even know what it was. Yeah. A funny looking culvert. Yeah, an old one. And we checked Dan a little bit up through. It's not really that steep, so I don't think we need any more gravel than that. Yeah. We still want to end up and through the windshield. It's not, can't see good, but no, yeah. Not bad. We did all the way down through, yeah. All the way out to 14 or just down past We're headed to 14 and then we're headed around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. He's on Greenwood headed back the other way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And probably we'll put that catch basin in tomorrow. Okay. Well, it's maybe off. not tomorrow, Wednesday. Use your judgment. It's fun. Okay. Because it'll be right on that yep. corner the way I explained it. Yeah. That'll work good, I think. Yeah. I think so. Oh, that's at the end of the lake? Um, pop no, up on Poplar Road. Okay. You, you know where it comes out on an angle and yep. you want to put a, just a big catch, a big catch basin. Right you do one across the road and clean in the berm up yep. at the top where that dip, where the tree fell. Yeah. So and leave it doesn't loop. go into Steve's is the biggest problem. Yeah. Yeah. Stop Get rid of all that water, water before it gets going down through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. we don't have any place to put the water once it goes around the corner. It doesn't go. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's no place. Except so we'll be doing the rest of the week. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. To drive out through there and check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, good. You get to see this tomorrow, then go. Then go. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. All right. See you. Here. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. So Brandy is away, so um, there won't be a town treasurer. Of course, she did leave us financials. Um, yep, we got that. We can look at those at our, our leisure. Um, so um, <coughs> where Diana is, but we're ready for the Diana. We're ready. all set for the town clerk. Okay. We're actually ahead of time. Yeah. Ahead of time, yeah. Woo. Seven o'clock. So we'll this boy needs to go to bed. <laughs> I'm on the ambulance coverage starting at 9 o'clock, so who knows? Well, my first day like, oh, was at was 2 a.m. Sunday morning. I got up at 2 and went to bed at midnight last night with my six mile, seven and a half, five and a half mile bike. I bet you slept well after that. I did. Night, I'm a little sore, though. I don't why they had to call you in when they had Stone Mountain Rescue. Because we, they have, you need about 15 people per mile, and they have 11 people. So they do the technical parts of it, and we're the labor. That's how it works. Mm. So we can turn them out. It's a big, big issue. Because mm. you're worried about other people getting hurt. Too. Well, you've got this patient. You've got to yeah. treat them with care because they you, you drop somebody. I mean, the points I'm walking on there's a cliff on one side and I'm balancing, and you got the patient here. Mm -hmm. You can't go over the edge. Everybody dies. Yeah. And it's dark. And if you go on the Hunger Mountain Trail. Oh, well, well, is that what it is, Worcester Mountain? Well, it could be the one. Yeah, I don't it know. Worcester, yeah, it says Mountain Trail yeah. is the road name we went up. I don't really know, but the trail's awful. It's all washed out. It's terrible. Anyway. This is just something about the VLCT annual meeting, um, if you want to designate someone to go and be our voting representative. Mm -hmm. I think we probably all got packages about that. I think I got something in the... I haven't not. seen it yet. I haven't seen it. No. And it's, uh, <coughs> Skip went once. October 2nd, 2019. So. Right. No takers. <laughs> I've, I've never gone, but... Uh, <laughs> It does. I don't know what good it does. They have their mind made up as far as their uh, right. It's kind of a rubber stamp sort their of thing. their uh, yeah, their positions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, I don't know what's up with Brandy. I thought she'd go to Kentucky. But she was trying hard to get the tax bills done, but she didn't, I guess. And I didn't know except this morning, I guess. Oh, sure. Laura sent her a Facebook message. I know what was. Whether she managed to do that or not. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she didn't because Ron has a couple of things that he's supposed to do first. Mm -hmm. So now. Um, so she didn't message, go to Kentucky? Yeah, so the message I got was that she's hoping to do them on Wednesday. So mm -hmm. hopefully, if she comes in tomorrow, then Ron can work with her and get the, you know, there's certain okay. kinds of buttons that he has to push mm -hmm. and download the current use. Information 
otherwise, uh, and business as usual, or uh, at the last um, numbers that we needed from, I'm skipping ahead to the old blueberries. Okay, all right, perfect. perfect. I, I got two more numbers from Blue Mountain Trucking and Excavation mm -hmm. for finishing off the site after they do their demolition and renewing everything and all that and yeah silt fence and everything and filling those holes with uh, and our engineer suggested because there's some leakage into the stream already to put some filter fabric down before they fill it okay so fair enough i'm just going to try to get you guys to do it like they can do it when they start. Okay. so anyway that added about fifteen thousand dollars our final numbers came out to 167,657 for the total project, of which our portion would be 41,914, which is less than the money that we have set aside for our mm -hmm. match, so mm -hmm. that's good. So we're still on for sometime November-ish? No. No? no? What the uh, September, October, I don't know. We still haven't. I mean, I mean the, well, I sent the Michael signed the thing last week. Okay. I back, I scanned it and sent it to Lauren. She sent it right off to Boston. So um, yeah. that should be the last. <laughs> I can say that. I've said that a hundred times. We hope the last piece mm -hmm. of the puzzle. <laughs> yeah. And now I agree that sadly the uh, attorney for the buyers is closing his office because he has cancer. Right. Richard, Richard Ford. Ford. Mm -hmm. And so, um, at first he said he was having chemo when he was, some days of the month he wasn't feeling very well, but now it must be worse because he's closing oh, the yeah. office. So I sent them an email today letting them know that they need to get his files mm -hmm. by September 1 and mm -hmm. either find a new attorney or I suggested, and I've talked about this with our attorney, Sarah Field, if she was to do all the closing documents, which usually the seller's attorney would do, but if she were to do it, if she has all the information and everything, then she could do that and they would still have to pay her. And if they wanted to hire somebody else just to review everything to make sure it was favorable to them, then they could do that. So the sellers have to pay this? Sellers here. would have to pay, right, I guess that's Their the usual. Private. Yeah. In a transaction. Yeah, how does that work? They'll have to come up with it at the time of the closing or the town? Usually, pays what'll it, happen pays is back, we'll, we'll go to the bank and we'll get a line of credit. And us, when, we yeah. get to the, when we get to the closing, we'll write a big check to the closing attorneys. Right, and then they give you a trust account or whatever. <coughs> and then they pay out property transfer taxes and attorney's fees and whatever else there is. There's a bunch of other stuff. Closing costs. Yeah. And then we'll hold out that line of credit until we're done. And we'll so we're still kind of waiting for FEMA then. We're still definitely, waiting for FEMA. Yeah. Definitely waiting for that final yeah. go ahead. Hopefully they do something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you for working on that. Yeah. Yeah. And we really can't start the process of a closing because we don't really. Well, she, well the attorney, or rather Lauren told me last week she shouldn't be spending any money on legal fees because the grant's not approved yet. Well, but how can we wait? We can't wait till the last minute right. and then. Then that's we'll oh, yeah, two weeks. Right. To get the closing guy. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And also the engineering, whether or not they'll pay for that, we've got about $1,500 out in engineering. Mm -hmm. It wasn't pretty approved. Not, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, it's just. I mean, it's hurry up and wait, right? This, <laughs> I mean, this loan's a hundred thousand dollars compared to all the money that the government. I know. It spends on everything every day. Mm -hmm. it's they waste more money uh, by accident. Yeah. 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 So I have to. One little other thing I have to do is apply for an insignificant waste disposal event, which is just still on my list of things to do, but I'll get that done. And the ANR said I could do that. That's for the with building. The, with, that's to allow them to put the cement slabs. Oh, the that's the insignificant. Into, into, into the hole. Okay. And maybe that so other stuff, <coughs> that other rock, rock that came out of the, 
Mm -hmm. okay. Just came out of yeah. the screen. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll hope that FEMA can get their act together. Yeah. Any questions? No, I'm no. good. Thank you. Okay. All right. So how long how long do we give FEMA until we? Well, say I was thinking. You know, they, uh, our congressmen still haven't written the letter that they said they were working on right. two weeks ago. So I was thinking this would be a good time to give them a little, a little pride, reminder. Yeah. Say we've got no final keep paperwork the pressure on. in, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. I say keep the know, pressure on. We, yeah. We were all ready to have this letter a week and a half ago. <coughs> so I'll remind yep. them that we're at so another stage and just another. It's still waiting. Good time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So next on the agenda is just a brief update um, and review of a, a change order. Um, that one you sent us yeah, over the yeah. siding. Yeah. Which actually you didn't get to see because your computer isn't working. Um, so um, the, I talked with Larry um, about this change order um, and he, you know, we both kind of feel the same way. Oh, they're up there working on the roof. That's what they found. Um, and apparently there was uh, some in the uh, RFP money allotted for uh, changing um, the siding. There's just there's more than what um, the uh, RFP yep. work scope of work um, said there would be. So um, nine hundred dollars. Um, got to be done. Got to be done. Right. Yeah. Now. It's yep. yeah. It's the best there. time. You're not going to be any cheaper than yep. right now. The staging's up and. Yep. yep. So I'd say approve it. Yep. If we okay. Motion to yeah. approve. I'll second. second that. Okay. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thanks. So I read it over this afternoon. Yeah. So let's see. This is the twelfth. Yeah. School's going to be open before long. Yeah. 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 I don't want to think about it. I'm still <laughs> reeling from last winter. We're already thinking about buying salt and sand. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Boy. It's like the You're either in winter or getting ready for winter. So I'll get this to. Um, Watershed, they can sign it, and then um, and then we're good to go. Um, Larry's said, as far as the work goes, uh, you know, both with the entryway and the roof, um, they they seem to have more people there now. They're they're working away at it. Are they so thinking they're on schedule? They're well. Uh, a little behind because of the I change asked orders. About that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, the, and the change orders, <clears throat> and I think they got a later start than they really should have. And in the RFP, it it asked that they be done by August 16th. So they're not going to make it. They're not going to make it, but they're hoping, Larry thinks, and they're telling Larry that they'll be done by the time school starts. Yeah. <laughs> when is that? Uh, we'll see sometime. The next week, the following yeah, week. I think um, after, well, a follow, one more week would be August 23rd, 24th. The 16th is Friday. Yeah, yeah. So the 23rd would be the next. There's Old Home yeah. Day that Saturday. The 24th, yeah. And Saturday. I think school starts sometime yeah, after that. Following week, okay. 26th? Yeah. yeah. That's what that is. Allison's. Yeah, probably yeah. Probably yeah. Too, then. Yep. Closing in on it. Yep. yep. So, but he said, as far as the quality of the work, it's good. So. Um, That's good, but yeah, because Larry's a stickler, so he yeah. says it's good. It's yeah. good. So at this point in the agenda, um, I would like to make a motion that we. Um, Go into executive session, um, citing one BSA section 313A1 um, to discuss um, probable civil litigation. Second. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Is this the last?